Give the good news first. Uh, we're doing very well. How well are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> give us some millions of dollars numbers where we are. Where are we right now? Right, compared to, and then you can give your report. I'll be glad. Well, that is how my report starts off, <laughs> Mayor. So, um, in your packet tonight, you have the general fund financial results through January 31st. Uh, this is the first seven months of the fiscal year, or 58% of the fiscal year completed. Uh, I'm reporting that revenues through January 31st were 64.5 million. Uh, that is an increase of 3.4 million over last year. Hold on, stop. You're going too fast. Okay. It's three point. How, Lee, ask, Lee, tell me how many. What did he say, Lee? Just give it to us again. <laughs> three point. Three point four million better than last year. Three point four million better than last year. Great. Sounds good. Great. Keep going. All right. Uh, regarding property taxes, uh, as you know, there's a little activity that goes on in this category at this point in the year uh, until the next billing and collection cycle, which will be May and June. However, just to remind you, from the first half of our fiscal year, uh, the billing cycle concluded, uh, we had received 54% of our budget for real estate, so we finished a little ahead of where we expected for real estate taxes, and we were right on target for personal property. We received 48%. Uh, the reason that doesn't quite get up to the 50% mark is because of the state funding that comes in unevenly through the year. We get more of it in the spring than in the fall. Uh, so we're right where we should be with personal property. Um, our delinquent collections, however, are active, and I'm happy to report that we've collected 708,000 of our delinquent real estate tax, and that's 79% of our annual budget. So we're doing very well with delinquent collections. Uh, in fact, we are preparing now for another uh, auction of abandoned property that will occur this spring, and I'll keep you informed uh, about that as, as time grows, grows closer. Over half of our increase so far this fiscal year in revenues relates to our local retail uh, sales and meals and lodging taxes. Uh, so to give you an overcap of those, um, meals tax increased 569000 over last year, and that's slightly ahead of budget at 59% of our annual budget. Lodging taxes have increased 315000 uh, This is slightly below budget at 53.5%, um, but I expect that to rebound. Uh, just for information, uh, through October, our average monthly receipts of hotel and motel uh, taxes were 240000 a month. Uh, this dropped to about 170000 for November and December. And if I was to speculate, I would say it's probably